Hi everyone. <laughs> Welcome to Point de Pimar. Start the montage. <laughs> Let's go find out before we get run over. What else is the sun? <laughs> it's really easy to do your montage. At the moment, there's plenty of parking in Point de Pima. You just come down to the beach and park here. <laughs> We're leaving Tammy here, but what views has she got? <laughs> awesome. Let's go check out the town. Point de Pima. Are we going to get some chilies? Here's a Point de Pima, quite a cool public beach. There's a kiosk and a patanka court. This is a really cool bus stop. Check it out. Easy for the bus to pull in. Tons of place you can wait out of the sun. And even a public telephone so you can make a call if the bus is late. And you got some views. Not sure who you're going to call, but... <laughs> wow. Pretty cool. This looks like a great little snack shop. There are tons of stuff right out here, right next to the beach. It's a pity. They would have been doing really well with views like that. Well, we've been walking down the street for what seems like hours. Okay, it's not really that far. But Point of Pimar is actually really, really long. It goes all the way from here well, to... From the Oberoi. From, from the Oberoi, right down there. We're about halfway through. And then all the way down there to Trebiche is, is more of it. Still Point to Pimont. Still Point to Pimont. It is a big place. And there's 10,000 people that live here. 10,000 people live here. Wow. Yeah, kind of cool. Let's go get some chili snacks. And the beach keeps going with another kiosk and more snack cuts. I think a little bit later this place is going to be epic. Poisson Grill, so he's going to cook some fish on here. Nothing yet, but it'll probably be just a little bit later. And here's another bus stop, literally, I don't know, 20 meters from that one. <laughs> so yeah. if you're lazy but you want to go to this snack, uh -huh. you can just take a bus. <laughs> wow. There's a temple jutting out into the sea. Now that's where you put a temple. Wow. Hey, look at the beach around it. That is quite magical. That is quite magical. Well, onwards. Yeah, I'd be on the tree. <laughs> <laughs> so, there's a temple. <laughs> Another petank court. This is a, a stone shrine right on the sea. But what's different about this one, let me just swing you around so you can see Ricky, is that they actually have the chairs. They have benches around it. So you can actually sit and, and look at it. I'm not quite sure. Not quite sure what the metal boxes are. Well, it's probably for offerings. Oh, maybe, maybe Ricky's got it. Maybe it's for offerings. Don't know about you, but that looks like a really nice little snack place. I mean, we I agree. see what she's got. Yeah, let's go have a look. This is literally the first evidence I've got of Pima and Point de Pima. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! It's right here in this building behind me. The first chilies. Okay, well there aren't any sidewalks, but you know, technically you're supposed to be walking across the beach, so I'm not gonna complain too much about that. Uh -huh. <laughs> Quite amazing because there are still some really small houses 
and they're literally right here. Hmm. Ricky does have a point. There are lots of these small bungalows right next to something that looks like that with a view that looks like that. What you time do you do? Oh, you, you, you are already doing grill. Yes. Wow. Great. What do you have today? 45 times already from there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is at Sunset Grill. Sunset Filao. Uh, Sun uh, Sunset Filao. Uh, 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 We're going to try his panini because he says it's yeah, amazing. Yeah. Uh, uh, and he's going to throw in a samosa. This is the place outside. Sunset Filao. Laos? When you have the sunset, you get the reflect on the window, it's like a yellowish color. That's why it's the okay. reason behind that. So he actually has a reason behind it while you heard him explaining it. And it gets a beautiful color. Wow. But you know, this is the view from his shop. Apparently we get to sit on that bench and eat it. Okay. It's a combination of tamarind and lemon. Tamarind and lemon juice. Taste it if you like it, then it's 25 rupees, one full glass, one cup. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah, yeah. So I have been recording you. <laughs> Can you turn it on to me? Disclaimer. <laughs> Lemon and tamarind together. Oh. Yeah, it is quite nice. Yeah, instead of having a Coke, lots of people prefer oh, yeah. juice. Instead. No, it is really nice. Would you like to have yeah. a glass or it's okay? I will have a glass. Okay. That we will share one. Yeah, that's fine. It's a big glass. It's a big glass. Yeah. You see the reflect of maybe you won't see the sun now, right? Now, yes, but I can see it comes right through here. Yeah. Yeah, yes, right it's gonna come there. through. And that's why it's sunset filao. The reason behind it is sunset filao. It's gonna show you through the windows. See? So you're gonna, what a great spot. We do lots of fish as well. We got fish for that now, maybe whenever. Where are you living these days? Where are you? Rome. Rome. Okay. It's not too far actually. Okay. What a cool dude, and he actually was speaking of Afrikaans as well, he's like, Senior Latte. <laughs> and great policy, because everything is made fresh when you order it, except yeah. the dumplings and the soup. And then you come and wait over here. And you get a reusable plastic for your... For your tamarind juice, and then you eat and then you pay afterwards. <laughs> Look, Pointe Pimal's got their own little coin de mirror. <laughs> Wow. Oh, sunglasses. My bad. Wait, everyone. Don't worry, I'm taking this up. Man, this is our spot. The restaurant's just behind us. Uh, we have a bit of a view. I'll show you that now as I swing you around. That's our view. That's coined to me as Ricky pointed out. <laughs> <laughs> but you're not allowed on the beach, but apparently here is okay. Well, not a bad place to wait for your food. Got me a plate of food. <laughs> actually did give us some salad. Oh, okay. <laughs> but, a pimo. Oh. What's its name for? Man. So I'm going to try one. Look? I've actually only ever had a panini that I've made and one in Italy. It's our first Mauritian actual panini. Yeah. Cool. It's a good view. It is, but to keep the horizon straight is like... Yeah. Straight. <laughs> there you go. That's Ricky's camera there. <laughs> it's mine doing its thing here. <laughs> We've just been scoffing some chips like crazy. They're great chips. They're great. I'm going to try a samosa. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, wait a second, everyone. <laughs> Look at that cheese pull. Wow. <laughs> mm. I think, I think this does justice to the panini into the sun unfortunately but panini beach really nice it's baby and chickeny mm. and cheesy <laughs> <laughs> oh, <hey. laughs> 
Hey, my weed. It is super good. It is. Okay, and... <sighs> just doesn't understand. He's supposed to leave the peony where it is. <laughs> it's just interesting in the, in the sea behind you. Mm -hmm. I know, but we haven't seen you oh. napping it. With a chip. Okay. Okay, so this is some of the chili, local pimo. Mm. From Point de Pimo. It's actually quite a nice one. I tried a bit. It's not too hot. It's, it's got actually... garlic in and a uh, couple of other spices. Very yummy. Are you guys hungry yet? You should be. Yeah. <laughs> well. Pimo in Point de Pimo. Mm -hmm. Chili Point. Chili Eating point. chili on the beach. Oh, it it's... doesn't get much better than this. It really doesn't. <laughs> oh, do we struggle or what? Crispy, tasty veggies. Samusa. <laughs> Brian's gonna hate me having to edit these. <laughs> I don't care. Here come the boys. Boys want the mark. <laughs> uh oh, had the food. Had the food. We've been spotted. We've been spotted. <laughs> Keep walking. <laughs> Nothing but lettuce yet. Ricky's specialty. Because the salad's actually really nice. <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> well, you can probably tell. <laughs> that was a pretty good meal. When a plate looks that clean, you know you've eaten well. Mm -hmm. Wow, guys. 220 for all that stuff. How fantastic. And it was so fresh as well. Fresh and hot. What a great place. Thank you. Anyway, it was weirdly at a place like this. But in the sit-down section, the guy was chatting to the owner. He had just recently been married and <laughs> his wife didn't tell him that she had like a four or five-year-old child. So he got married and suddenly there's this four or five-year-old child in the house. And he's telling the guy there, that, well, there's a car coming, but I want to get to the other side of the road so we're walking more next, more next to the sea. So he didn't know about the child, but he's telling the guy, yeah, I come home to my new wife. And I've got a baby, haha, uh -huh, that is eating meat and talking. <laughs> it's got long hair and teeth. Long hair and teeth and eating meat. Particularly, you know how kids love to eat the meat first. So. Anyway, there was an unscrupulous journalist sitting in the corner. And he heard this and was like, what could possibly do that other than a vampire? <laughs> 2009 there was a vampire here and yeah everyone, rumors ran riot it just got worse a and vampire worse vampire baby yeah it really of is. all things <laughs> but it was all broken telephone if you do come to see this view and wow wow is it a place is it a place we're not allowed to actually go any closer but it is perfect but ricky's probably showing you amenities so they've got a place where you can wash after being in the sea which is pretty cool and they also have public toilets these are the showers here and the place where you can recycle your bottles let's go see if he's got a face ah he doesn't have a face he's just got a flap <laughs> Okay. Hey cutie. Hello. Hi. Oh no, I don't actually have food. But you look chunky. Oh, this is Mac Shop. Wow, <laughs> oh, this is Mac Shop. Souvenir shop. So obviously it's closed, no one wants to buy souvenirs. But it has a few trees across the road. I wonder what's in those trees. Well, I can't wait anymore. Let's go find out. Banyan trees. They seemed a bit spidery. <laughs> oh, wow. It's like a grand entranceway. This is amazing. It really is like walking into a grand house. And in a way, there is a little bit of grandeur here. Because there's a hole in the ground. 
that's lined with stones. Lime kiln number one. But, but, this is even better. Even, even better. Lime kiln number two. Uh-huh, uh-huh. It's a double. But wait. But wait. What are we waiting for, bro? What are we waiting for? There can't possibly be more. There's more? Can you believe it? I'm going to go up and just see how many there actually are. Wow. This one here. This. One, two, three up here. Three lime kilns here. And a fourth one just over there. I'm just looking around to see if there's not a fifth. But I, I, that's getting greedy. How is this? It's a triple lime kiln. It's actually a triple lime kiln with a friend. So a quadri quadruple lime kiln. There's some awesome word. Quadruple. A quadruple, a quadruple lime kiln. And how great is it? Wow. I'm going to go down and show you more. Yeah, thanks to the guy on uh, Mauritius. What did I call it? Enchanted or something. <laughs> yeah, Mauritian Enchanted. Yeah, which is a great Facebook group, and someone shared this. Is there another one? We got a quintuplet. <laughs> I kind of messed up because this is number four. The other three are over there, and then there's number five. So it's a double here. We got a double here, and we got a triple there. Five lime kiln, five in one spot. Amazing. Oh wow. But it's something you can't often do. You can get into one of them. So I'm going to go try. This is actually something you don't see every day. Look at how the stone is cut into a wedge shape. So that it can fit the round structure of the kiln. They're all cut in wedge form. So thicker at the back and thinner at the front. And it's genuinely all like that. And look at this beautiful field. That must be a river down there. Yeah, it is a football field. This is the other side of the lime kilns. Okay, this is number one. Not, not, not too great. It actually looks like they, they do stack good stones around the inside as well. Uh, number two, I might be able to get into that one. Give me a second to see what number three is like. Number three. Of course, we're going into number three. Come join me. Wow, how often do you get to do this? Actually go into a lime kiln. Wow. I mean, I'm pretty sure there are lime kilns. I'm not 100% sure, but you know, there must be lime kilns. Wow, but how often do you get to be in one? Because there's no crumbling rocks above you to, to topple you to your doom. Oh man, what a what a great place. There are three of them and they, they are still in enough condition that they could survive. That they could be looked after. But they're teetering on the edge of being awesome or being forest. Wow. I don't know if anyone remembers in Tamarind, there was that funny building with the, the slightly sunken floor. I think this might be another one of them. It's like dropped in. I mean, obviously people have thrown rubbish in and the stuff has been taken off the top. But what was that building for? Someone in Tamarind's got to know. Well, not just Tamarind. Someone's got to know. Maybe it's an old-fashioned toilet. <laughs> it's a weird view, although it's got the big trees and everything. It's not actually a river. Maybe it used to be. Very knobbly, gnarly old tree. Look at that one over there. Oh, it's beautiful. This has got to be one of the most beautiful football pitches in the world. <laughs> Ricky doing video for Ricky's selfie video. <laughs> How awesome is this though? Wow! I'm inside the other one. It was quite easy to get in. I just slipped. <laughs> I'm inside the other one. It was quite easy to get in. I just slipped. <laughs>
Beautiful trees. Where's your ball, Brad? <laughs> and the rest of your team. <laughs> I missed you kicking the ball. You're a bit close to one of those. <laughs> Man. Look at those trees. Coming around. I keep coming around. <laughs> wow. Walking away from five lime kilns for the montage. Through banyan trees. Man, how awesome. Right, so if you're staying at Meridian or Beachcomber, stop here. Margarita. Yeah, wherever you stop. It, it looks like a fairy tale wall of banyan trees. But go in through that hole and you'll find a wonder. Like how they've kind of made a chimney. This is an anti art gallery. Unfortunately, it's closed. But they left a few sculptures out here for us, for us to discover on their lawn. And that's that one. Huh. Pretty cool. Right, Ricky was saying that that corner there might actually be like representative of a chimney. Hmm. She could be right. Or a lime kiln. It could be representative of a lime kiln. Because the lime kilns are just over there. Bellevue Rivet. Rivet. Bell Bellevue Rivet. Bellevue Rivet. Isn't she sweet? She is a sweetie pie. Let's go have a look at her. I mean, she's probably quite new because... No, she's old. She was she was already annexed by 18 Watt Watt. 18 Watt Watt. She was already annexed. So let's go have a look at her. You can actually 1858. tell that... 1858. 1858 she was annexed. But you can also see that she was made in the French style. Where they, they get the rocks to fit rather than cut the rocks to fit. Wow, let's go see her. There is a hole here. Uh, into the chimney. I want to put you guys in and see if we can see anything. Good luck. <laughs> you know they're not really here. You know they're not really here. They'll just be sitting cozy, They'll just be sitting cozy at their home drinking coffee. Hopefully you guys got to see something. I'm not going to actually look at the camera. No, of course I am. Wait here. <laughs> oh my word, what is that inside the chimney? <laughs> Getting grass oh, you can see up through the top. Oh wow, but there's a little tree up there. Yeah, and you can see its root system. How about that? It's an open chimney. Yes, I just looked at the footage. So you can actually see all the way up to the top. Someone has been excavating here a little bit. Not sure what they're trying to dig up there. But you can also, now you can actually see how they built these things. With the stones that got close enough on the outside, but the inside is just rubble and, and lime mortar. I and mean, there's a path here. I walked through the bush there where Ricky is. She'll show you what the bush looks like. Very cool. Super interesting. But there's actually a path here. I could have just taken this path. And there she is. Wow. What a great chimney. Chim chimney. Chim chim chim. Wow. I forgot how to say chim chimney. on the top. <laughs> Penny's being sniffed out. Yeah. <laughs> Walking precariously across the ground away from Bellevue Rivet for the montage. These things are so for the montage for the montage everyone. It's kind of like the one at Srinagar just down the road from us. Awesome. Out among the chickens in the backyard is a chapel. I think they're called chapels. It's not Roman Catholic, it's Presbyterian. And it looks like they've actually started repairing it. They've actually put concrete in between the stone to actually keep it, keep it in good nick. Wow. I think Ricky called it a parish. Uh, yeah, St. Pierre Parish. St. Pierre Parish. 
Oh, and it's got the original, the original, um, well, maybe not the original, but it's got the corrugated roof. I'm just going to quickly go around the other edge, uh, around the corner here. Uh, bonjour. Wow. And just as good on this side. Just having a look at the, the church. Wow. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Thank you. This, all the way over here, which we can't get into, is the Oberoi Hotel, and it actually is one of the top hotels in Mauritius. Well, you can't really see anything, unfortunately, but they have the President Suite, and listen to this, 4,500 euros a night. Wow. <laughs> anyway, the normal price is about 500 euros, and hopefully there are three national monuments in there, so Oberoi guys, invite us over, we'll come look at the place. We'll look at your <laughs> lunchtime specials. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we, we do want to come see the National Armand Union. So, the Oberoi, you can get in as little as 500 euros a night. Pretty awesome for mm -hmm. the top hotel in Mauritius. Resort, resort, not hotel, resorts. Sorry, the Oberoi, the resort, the resort Oberoi. This is La Margarita. It's right here in the middle of uh, Pointe de Pimar. Hey, it's got a beautiful door. Obviously, we're not allowed in. But this actually looks like a really nice place to stay. 25 euros a night. Can you believe it? This, I, I can't show you the rooms, but they, the, the place the place looks okay. And they've got a swimming pool, and I think the public beach is about 10 minutes that way. We can't show you too much, but it's something to consider. You can go to the Oberoi for 500 or come here for 25 And I like that door. Bakamar's snack. snack is right across the road. This is the Victoria Beach Coma. Obviously also we still can't get in. Beautiful tree-lined entranceway. And would you believe you can come here and stay with a sea view for 140 euros a night. That's actually pretty cheap for a sea view. Wow, I can't even see the sea from here. So, just next to the beachcomber is a small piece of public beach. That's one of the decks of the beachcomber. We're actually on the public beach, so you can actually access it from the public beach. But, that's the sea view. For the room, that's 140 euros. That's the sea view. Interestingly, just out there is actually a marine park. So there is a marine park there and there's some diving guys. Whoa, some diving guys here will probably take you out to it. Beachcomber, marine park, sea views. Yeah, I think up here they're going to build something in connection with the, the marine park. Probably an education facility or something. Okay, now that would be awesome. Mm-hmm. Cool. Tap out. I'm at the Le Meridian. In Pointe Pimont. Le Meridian. Unfortunately, their sign is taken down because they're doing renovations like a lot of hotels at the moment. So a lot of hotels are actually doing renovations to their places now. But yeah, this is actually quite a nice place. We actually have no idea of how much it costs. So Le Meridian, <laughs> put something on your website, please, so people know. Pointe Pimont actually does have an aquarium. It is closed now. The only aquarium in Mauritius. This is as close as we can get. It's right next to the sea, so grab yourself a mask and snorkel and go snorkeling. Or better yet, try scuba diving. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I agree. This Mauritius has great snorkeling and great diving. Rather go view the animals out there in their natural habitat. It's like very peaceful and calm and... And really close. But if you want Just to, there. you can come to an aquarium. Wow, Point de Pimar. What a fantastic place. It's not just about the beaches, as you saw, or the accommodation. Guys, give us a call. But it's also <laughs> about the chili. But I think they put one too many eyes and they meant the chill. Point de Chill. Beautiful place to come chill. Thanks for watching. See you guys later.
the Lalora video, my friend went out and picked guavas and made me some guava jam. So I'm going to try it on the Terre Rouge bun we got. Because it's also a sweet bun. And it just looks like you pour this stuff. I'm not 100% sure if this is what you do with, uh, <laughs> with guava jam and how much you're supposed to put on. It looks incredible. Thank you, Ratish. Look at that. Guava jam. Give it a go, give it a go, give it a go. You guys might see him on the chat as Ratish Ratish, but now I'm going to taste this because if I die, you know. <laughs> oh, is it your mm. new best thing? Because <laughs> mm. you love guavas. <laughs> mm. <laughs> that is so cool. Thank you so much, Ratish. Oh, wow, this is so great. It's like my favorite guavas. And you can just eat them in your mouth, concentrated, not having to worry about the pips. <laughs> it is the greatest invention of all time. Thanks, Ratish. Anyway, everyone, hope you enjoyed the show. <laughs> yum, yum, yum.